Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. those boots if I have to force Yves Mont Blanc himself to make me a pair on Christmas Day. That's the Christmas spirit. Uh... Speaking of Christmas, you're cordially invited to attend Whoop's Holiday Bash tonight. Thanks, but no thanks, Jer. We still got major last-minute shoppage to do. Sorry, girls, but the gathering is mandatory. In fact, I need you here right away for a little pre-party mission. On Christmas Eve? But, Jerry... I'm not even dressed for a party. <laughs> over last-minute Christmas shopping. Preparing my office for tonight's festivities. Ugh, that's it. I am returning your gift just as soon as I buy you one. I don't mind. After all, this time of year is about giving, not receiving. And speaking of giving, Gladys, give the girls their supplies. Kill off Dr. Broom Ammonia. Jerry, I don't have time for this. I have extremely expensive boots to find. But well, don't be silly, Clover. Your boots will only get ruined with all the cleaning you're about to do. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, this lame party or these lame outfits. Tell me about it. Like, didn't anyone tell Jerry that fuchsia is this year's red? And hello, didn't anyone tell him a party's supposed to be fun? And so, Crawford, a former Whoop agent turned evil elf, hired a sleigh of reindeer. <laughs> or so he thought. Ugh, this is a nightmare. I'm gonna be stuck at this party for the rest of my life. I'm never gonna find these boots. Is there something I can help you with, Clover? Can you find a pair of Yves Mont Blanc boots for me? Affirmative. Ah! Yves Mont Blanc available at... Uh, oopsie. <gasps> oh my, well, that can't be good. <gasps> Understatement of the year! She was just about to reveal only the most important information ever! Gee, suddenly I don't feel so silly in this outfit. Alex, please mop up the spilled punch. Negative, Jerry. You are no longer in charge. I am indeed in charge. Okay, that's right out of a horror movie. Uh, you cannot override the security system, Jerry. Only I control it. <gasps> She's right. I'd better contact Agent Mathers. He's skiing in Aspen. Uh, hey, I thought this war fest was mandatory. Now is not the time to nitpick. 
my. Gladys is blocking my outgoing message. I have no choice but to disconnect her. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Never rethink your plan, Jerry. Sam, laser launcher, top draw. Take her down the old-fashioned way. Uh, uh, where's your hard drive, Jer? No one can stop me. Everyone to the panic room. Now. Not without you, Jerry. The extent of her malfunction is fascinating. Gone are the days when she just controlled my office. Now she controls the entire building. Can we admire your wacko machine later? Like when we're safe? Hmm. This closet is lined with titanium. It should slow down her ability to find us. Okay, so you spilled punch on Gladys? Why is she suddenly so evil? I didn't get that crazy when you dropped jelly on my cashmere. She's probably sick of living in Jerry's shadow. You know, never getting any of the limelight. Hello, she's a computer. She doesn't care about things like that. I'm afraid it's my fault that Gladys is evil. I downloaded her brain from The Brain, the world's most brilliant villain. <gasps> she has a villain's brain? A villain who set out to destroy the world by misleading nations into launching missiles at one another. I thought I deleted all the evil synapses. Well, he must have a weakness. Everyone does. Shopping. <laughs> All we have to do is find out what it is, and that's our key to stopping Gladys. Luckily, he happens to be in the building's holding facility. I say it's time we visit the brain. Uh, is everyone forgetting we're hiding in a titanium closet because a freako robot just tried to annihilate us? Not at all, which is why there's no time like the present for a little present. <gasps> oh, me first, me first! Oh! Uh, hmm. Uh. <laughs> You realize we're not eight. It's the bubble blaster invisibility shield. We simply ensconce ourselves and move as quietly as possible. will never think to look for us inside the brain cell. 
How delightful. I haven't had so many visitors since last Christmas. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to get gifts for anyone. Gee, you seem nice. What's up with the whole starting a world war thing? I only wanted everyone to disarm in an effort for world peace. No one complied. So, a world war was the second choice? Ironical much? Yes, but you see, I have this condition. I'm a little crazy. You must be. You didn't even touch your holiday meal. Oh, it's covered in cranberry sauce to which I'm dreadfully allergic. It makes me even crazier than usual. <gasps> cranberry! That's the kind of juice I spilled on Gladys! She must have the same allergy. I bet it triggered the evil part of her brain. That means two Rupert files have just been launched. Checkmate, Carrie. Wherever you are. the same network of neurons that form the brain's information processing circuits. Hello! High school students here! He's saying he's the only one who can outsmart her since he already knows what she's thinking. If you reduce my sentence by a mere 500 years, I'll help you delete the evil from Gladys's brain. Well, although this is not woo policy, I suppose we... Not so fast, Jer! Hey, you prison guys can smuggle in anything you want, right? Throw in a pair of YMB boots and you got a deal. <gasps> Agreed, Brain. We have no choice but to trust you. The first thing I need is a jet. I'll use the jet to intercept the missiles, then disable them before they reach their target. I have a better idea. The criminal stays put, and Clover and I take the jet. How will you disable the missiles? With your third gift, the remote virus Palm Coder Decoder. It intercepts computer programs remotely. It's not powerful enough to overtake Gladys, but it should suffice for the missiles. Brilliant. First things first, I'll disable the transmitter on one of the jets so Gladys doesn't control it. Hmm. <laughs> Clover, Sam. You cannot outwit me. Okay, so how do we fix Gladys? Simple. The logarithm of acid to base is imbalanced from its imperfect state of four, which is a uh. common cerebral reaction to an antigen. Now you're just being difficult. Gladys became evil when she was exposed to too much acid, the cranberry juice. All we have to do is pump a base into a mainframe to counter the allergy. Genius. Only where will we get a base? You mean, like ammonia? The one I was cleaning. You ran out at home, so I was going to borrow this. I was going to pay you back. Frame. Beautiful. Pristine. Can we have this love fest later? This won't hurt a bit. Mm. What are you doing, Brain? Do not betray me. We are one. Mm. Where are you, Brain? Brain, where are you? Brain! I actually feel 
feel sorry for her. Where are you, Brain? Brain, where are you? <laughs> Jerry? The Brain's plan is working! All my plans work. Well, except the last one. The one that got you here. They're locked in on us! Security, miss. I have to commandeer your boots for official business. Your country thanks you. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed with your. Huh? A gift my dear mom smuggled in in a 20 pound fruitcake. But we had an agreement. I'm a criminal. I'm not to be trusted. Besides, how else was I going to escape? Okay, now that you've escaped, I think you should turn yourself in. Nice try, but I have a better plan. It's just like my old plan, only more evil. I'm going to launch all of Whoop's missiles at once. Forget tricking countries into going to war. I'll do it myself. <laughs> oh, if only he used his evil for good. will download your brain power, this time making sure she isn't turned evil in the process. Download complete. Hard drive enhanced 300%. No evil virus detected. <sighs> the missiles! How do we stop them? I have a solution, Jerry. Permission to reprogram the launched missiles so that they hit each other at once? No! That was my idea! She stole it from my brain! No fair! Like the 
nicest person I've ever hated. Well, Clover, nice deed. So not like you. I'm proud of you. Finally seeing the spirit of the holiday. Holiday spirit? Hello? Yves Mont Blanc is so last year. Look at these new Giorgio Vivaldi's hot off the European runway. Now this is the best Christmas present yet. <laughs> you know, I think Christmas is about more than just gifts. It's really about the spirit of human kindness, about treating others with respect and courtesy. That's why I love it so much. I mean, what other time of year can you get pleases and thank yous even from the baddies you're fighting? It really does bring out the best in people. Light warmers? Hello? Is this a gift or is someone just cleaning out their closet? <sighs> and then there's Clover. And then there's Clover. Forgetting his digits? Quick, let me use your pen. Actually, the BHCA just projects satellite TV and has a built in computer. It doesn't actually write. Duh, silly me. I'm so excited. I wonder what I got. <gasps> this rocks! The Mega Micro Cappuccino Master! <gasps> and it comes with a single serving cup, too! <laughs> so cool! Like, totally obvious much. Virgil is so your un secret Santa. <laughs> so, who wants cappuccino? Ooh, me, me, me! I can't wait to see what super fantastic gift I got. Hmm. <laughs> Ew! Someone gave me coal! <laughs> <laughs> Happy holidays, Lizar! Don't burn it all in one place! <gasps> Mandy was my secret Santa? That is so unfair! Perfectly good rock on Mandy. It's only fair. I was Mandy's secret Santa, and I got her the latest blur blurry scarf in the interest of the holiday spirit. Wait a sec. That's strange, because I was Mandy's secret Santa. No way! I was Mandy's secret Santa, too! Hmm. That, that cheat! cheat. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 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 Cheer! Uh, this is like totally unfestive of you to whoop us the day before the biggest holiday. Way! Did you call us here to give us our gifts? What'd you get us? Wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. Clover, if you please. This is for my mom. Oh, so 
So, where are our gifts? That is what you called us here, right? <laughs> of course, I, I have your presents right yeah, here. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, earrings for Sam, uh, earmuffs for Alex, and a necklace for Clover. <sighs> the wrong size? Wrong everything. One earring? You couldn't find another clip? But it's the thought that counts, I'll have you know. This is worse than giving us coal. I'm sorry, girls, but I simply haven't had the time to shop yet. What with all the havoc wreaking and such that's going on this season? What evs? This holiday's a total bust anyway. You might as well give us our mission, Jer. I'm sure that's the real reason you whooped us. Well, delighted you're interested. There appears to be an unidentified flying object over Beverly Hills. Could it be a float for the holiday parade? Indeed not. Our whoop radar can pick up the object, but it seems no one else can. Sounds like an intriguing mission, Jer. And best of all, it's local. A quick in and out, and we can get back to the festivities at Mally U. Yes, well, as long as you have your priorities straight. Chop, chop, gadget us, Jer. Very well. <gasps> You'll have the Wind Tunnel 9000 hairdryer, the Double in Trouble Osmosis bubble suit, a permeable second skin of sorts, and the pocket pen projectile, which fires a web snare from the tip. Doesn't anyone make a pen that writes anymore? You'll also have the Whoop Pinky Chopper for this mission. Wow. Awesome! Let's go, girls! <laughs> Clear blue skies over BH, same as usual. <gasps> Except what? Where? Martindale's is having a shoe sale! <sighs> Let me guess, another sale? No, it's the UFO Jer was talking about. That's no UFO, that's just a harmless weather balloon. for a better look. Sammy, if you can get above him, I can snare the entire thing. No problem. Take that, wannabe weatherman! Or not? Nice dive, Sam! Whoa! It's got an ice deflector shield? That's one tricked out balloon! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not good! We're hit! We're going down! <laughs> oh no! Where's the mail button? like Alex's third driver's test all over again. I almost passed that time, too. Come on, let's get him before he gets away. Huh? He's gone. This mission is a bust. Totally. Like, how am I supposed to borrow the pinky chopper for my date on Friday now? Clover, we have bigger problems. We have to tell Jerry that we got blasted out of the sky by a balloon. How lame is that? Almost as lame as our gifts. Well, I say we head back to West Coast Hall and fill Jerry in from there. No sense of missing out on the rest of the party. Let's hit it! Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's never snowed here before, has it? Not that I know of. Look! Uh, yeah. All of the surf majors are snow surfing. Hmm. And rollerbladers are skiing. Oh, yeah. And designer scarves aren't just fashion accessories. People are actually using them to keep warm. Mally U is the best. What other school would create snow to celebrate the season? Coffee! Hot cocoa! Steaming lattes! Virgil, why aren't you having fun like everyone else instead of working? You kidding? This is the perfect weather for my Cardo Coffee venture. In fact, business is booming and I need you girls to work tonight. Work? On the eve of the biggest holiday of the year? Virgil must be hanging out with Jer. Hey, what gives? Someone turned down the snow machine! Oh, 
My coffee biz! Ah! My designer low-temp high-endurance winter clothes are getting trashed by this weather! At least I have this cheesy scarf you gave me or I would freeze! <laughs> cheesy? It's an original blur blurry! Later! We have to figure out what's going on. Clearly this weather is not a school activity. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, guess it's just a good old-fashioned blizzard from Mother Nature. Well, hello. Like, shouldn't that weather balloon have picked up on this include everyone in? I'm thinking odd weather and odd weather balloon are somehow connected. Better take a little sample to see if there's any funny business at hand. I'll give Jira a ring. Yeah, volim te isto, Vladimir. Yeah, volim te vesna. The snowstorm is totally messing up our eggs powder. Looks like we're driving to whoop. Go! Sorry. I think she actually drives better in the snow. Yeah, she's almost staying in her own lane for once. Hang on! We are! of snow and freezing? Then yes, we're okay. <sighs> Good thinking, Clover! Thanks. Hey, Sammy, can you... You betcha! No offense, Alex. So, we think this Bizarro Balloon has something to do with the Bizarro Weather Jar, but, like, who'd want to dump snow on beautiful SoCal? Odd girl, indeed. I have a reading. The sample is actually a designer water that was man-made into snow. Was that your stomach, Jerry? <laughs> oh, my! Duck and roll! Now, wait, that's for a fire. What do you do for snow? <laughs> Winter is beginning to get on my nerves. Perhaps we should retreat to the penthouse dorm. It may very well be the only place above snow level at this point. I hope you have a good ride, Jer. Otherwise, I don't know how we'll get there. Um, that'll do. Not again! Okay, I don't mind students taking shelter, but that's taking advantage. <laughs> You're out of yogurt-covered soy nuts and wheatgrass juice. Where is that box of coal? Now, now, girls, we have other matters to tend to first. <laughs> I've been working on a new laser which can extract DNA, molecules, etc., with a beam of light. It's still in the development stages, but it might be able to discern the exact brand of water in this snow. That's great, Jerry. Let's see it do its thing. Stand back. <laughs> It looked cool when you turned it on. You know, for that split second before it ruined the sample. No worries. Step aside. <laughs> Ew! Is that really necessary? This is liquid H2 Ego, mountain spring water harvested exactly 14 days ago from a little town in the south of France called Verrier. Wow! That was way better than Jerry's laser. <sighs> Don't feel bad, Jer. I'm an expert designer water taster. So, now that we know the source, let's do a little virtual recon, shall we? Oh, my. Several tons of liquid H2 Ego were stolen just ten days ago. Okay, that is so not what I was expecting. The trail leads to a former mall Santa who was recently fired from his job. Either he's got a lot of thirsty elves, or this fake Santa is up to no good. Hmm. What's that about? 
<laughs> Don't bother trying to fix your reception. <laughs> That's the balloon freak. I jammed the signals, so only my message will get through because apparently everyone is only interested in shopping anymore. His point? <sighs> no one even cares about Santa. No one knows the meaning of the true holiday spirit. Oh. So, I used my background as a meteorologist to devise a device capable of dropping an endless flurry of snow using Liquid H2 Ego on the materialistic people of Beverly Hills. I have been trying all week to stack up a Liquid H2 Ego. Now, what are all the stores we're at? Now you won't be able to get out of your homes to shop because you'll all be snowed in permanently. Happy holidays! <laughs> your role as maintenance guy is going to come into play, Jerry. You work on the windows, we'll work on finding this bogus Santa. Good luck, girls. Listen up, everyone. Gather anything you can find to seal off the windows. Chop, chop. Just got to hook up to Whoop's radar and... Bingo! There it is. Unidentified flying object right above L.A. Let's teach this faux Santa a thing or two about holiday spirit. Visitor for Santa? Too late! You had your chance when I was at the mall! <laughs> nice try! I'm not done yet! Oh! You're done now! <laughs> Who's next? I got plenty more! Him. I'll use the double and trouble osmosis bubble suit to sneak into the gondola. Cover me! Go for it, Sammy! Hey, Mr. Batty! You're gonna run out of designer snow sooner or later, so you might as well surrender now! Right after you do!
Leave me alone! No can do! We still gotta bring you in for being naughty, not nice! You'll all pay! None of you knows the spirit of the holiday season anymore! We don't know the spirit of the holiday? Hello? Who just wreaked havoc all over SoCal, Mr. Holiday Spirit? At least I bought my arch rival an awesome gift! So don't talk to me about holiday spirit! I gotta admit, she did dig deep to buy Mandy such a great gift. Mm-hmm. Hey, look at that! L.A. is returning to the awesome sunny paradise it normally is. Way! Well, sort of. It appears we're gonna have a major flooding problem. Nice job, girls. Hey, dear, make a problem here. L.A. is flooded with H2 Ego. Don't worry, we expected this much and we've got it covered. Now, don't you have a party to return to? We sure do. That was like the most awesome party ever. Yikes, our pant house is more like an igloo. I guess the snow was packed so tightly it didn't have a chance to melt. No probs. the dorm? Ah! Ah! Not my blubbery scum! Not my designer purse! Ah! My shoes! Come back! Guess Mandy got what she deserved after all from her three secret Santas. Now that's what I call the perfect present. Speaking of presents, I believe these are for you. So Totally knew you wouldn't let us down. And we have your gift, too. Happy holidays! Bye! Ho, 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 ho!